My name is Lauren Stevens, and I'd like to welcome you to a presentation on the effects of aging on sensations of taste. We will go over what taste is, the implications associated with loss of taste, what causes loss of taste, and lastly, some solutions. What is taste actually? Taste is the sensation recognized as sweet, salty, sour, and bitter. There is an additional taste recognized that is referred to as umani and is savory. How does taste work? Chemicals in the food we ingest come in contact with receptor cells known as taste buds in the oral cavity and parts of the throat. The taste buds are chemosensory receptors which allow the body to prepare for digestion and respond to what's ingested and can create feelings of fullness and pleasure from a meal. This in turn reinforces eating. Taste buds constantly reproduce every 10 days. However, malnutrition can affect taste bud regeneration and can therefore reduce taste sensitivity. What are the implications of a declining sense of taste for older adults? Taste is imperative for a few reasons, the first being for assessment of nutritional value. This was touched on in the previous slide. Nutrients and chemicals from food ingested activate receptor cells and influence what and how much we choose to eat. In terms of safety and quality of foods, chemosensory cues help us avoid eating poisonous foods or ingesting unsafe chemicals. As discussed previously, the chemosensory system of taste reinforces eating. If one cannot taste their food, their motivation to eat is decreased, which may lead to malnourishment. Malnutrition can lead to a plethora of problems which include wasting, such as weight loss, and increasing susceptibility to disease. These side effects would reduce quality of life, which is something we want to help our older adults avoid. So why is the loss of taste sensation a big deal? This is a big deal because by 2030, older adults are projected to be 20% of the U.S. population. Caring for this population correctly will be of great importance, since a large portion of these people will have age-related sensory losses which will impair their health and self-sufficiency greatly. Here we will discuss possible factors to blame. Impairments typically occur with advancing age typically around 70 years old. The ability to notice changes in taste decline with time, not suddenly, and it varies from flavor to flavor and for each person. Studies have found women to be more sensitive to bitter taste throughout their lifetime than men. There has been a high association found between medication and one's report of chemosensory loss. This seems to be the most common cause, with about 170 drugs correlating with a decrease in taste sensations. Polypharmacy, which is using many medications at once, is also a large problem. Systemic diseases such as hypertension, Parkinson's, and Crohn's may or may not cause an alteration in taste abilities. Poorly controlled diabetes can also affect taste. Many older adults with cognitive impairment and or Alzheimer's had reduced taste. Smoking can cause damage to taste buds. Oral hygiene can be difficult to maintain when older adults rely on others to take care of them. Institutionalization can make it difficult for homes to monitor each resident and ensure they are meeting their specific nutritional requirements. These are a few behavioral causes to decrease taste sensations. There are a few different types of impairments associated with loss of taste. The first being, and most common, hypogeusia is just a reduced sensitivity of taste. The next, agusia, is the complete inability to taste. Dysgusia is the distortion of normal taste. And we must also consider that smell and taste are connected since their nerves are so close in position and return to about the same area in the brain. Therefore, difficulty with sense of smell can impact taste. There are a few broad solutions to this, beginning with a thorough evaluation of each older adult to understand the cause of their loss of taste sensation. The second solution is to continue taste sensation research for older adults so we can understand the problem further. Lastly, we must understand that figuring out how to maintain older adults' sensitivities and sensations is key to ensuring their quality of life. Some specific solutions when feeding older adults include 
flavor-enhancing food to make it more palatable, increase salivation, support immune system, and reduce complaints of food tasting poorly. Simulated food flavors are a good way to increase flavor. These would be comparable to apple juice, almond extract, or even adding a concentrated chicken flavor to chicken noodle soup. Another solution when feeding an older adult is to switch between different foods while feeding to reduce sensory adaptation in flavor and texture. When giving medications, mixing them with chocolate or a strong coffee taste will help decrease the bitterness. Controlling the amount of sugar patients with diabetes and the amount of salt patients with hypertension add to their food is important, since they may not be able to sense those flavors well. This may lead to ingestion of more salt and sugar than is recommended, and could be fatal. Some older adults don't like to cook for one or eat alone. A solution to this is the Senior Age Springfield, Missouri Agency, which provides free or accepts donations for meals to older adults in the community spaces. Some specific solutions when feeding older adults include flavor-enhancing food to make it more palatable, increase salivation, help support the immune system, and reduce complaints of food tasting poorly. Simulated food flavors are a good way to increase flavor. This would be comparable to apple juice, almond extract, or even adding a concentrated chicken flavor to chicken noodle soup. Another solution when feeding an older adult is to switch between different foods while feeding to help reduce sensory adaptation in flavor and texture. When giving medications, mixing them with chocolate or a strong coffee taste will help decrease the bitterness. Controlling the amount of sugar patients with diabetes and the amount of salt patients with hypertension add to their food is important, since they may not be able to sense those flavors well. This may lead to ingestion of more salt and sugar than is recommended and could be very unhealthy. Some older adults don't like to cook for one or eat alone. A solution to this in Springfield, Missouri is the Senior Age Agency, which provides free meals to older adults. They also accept donations to do that, um, but the meals are held in community spaces local to this area.